Hi, I'm Steve. You can call me Steve. This episode is going to be a bit different. Instead of talking about some aspect of science, I'm going to talk about science itself, or rather what science is. I thought up a whole bunch of pithy phrases to describe it, but it turns out somebody else has already thought of all of them. Uh, apparently I'm not quite as creative as I thought I was. Fundamentally, science is storytelling. It's a way of explaining what's happening in the universe around us and why it all happens. The various scientific disciplines, biology, chemistry, physics, etc., are just tools for working out what that story is. I think I mixed my metaphors there a little, but you know what I mean. Science is a way of thinking. As a scientist, I've been trained to gather evidence and try to make a story out of it, and then go and look for more evidence to see if my story is correct. Every aspect of the story is tested against reality again and again, and if they're found to disagree, then the story is adjusted. Speaking for myself, being a scientist is one of those jobs that goes home with you. If you have an office job, then ideally at 5.30 you can shut your computer off, go home, and not worry about work again until tomorrow. As a grad student, going home at 5.30 just wasn't happening. And even when you do get home, your work plagues you. Also as a scientist, I find that I'm always thinking like a scientist, always trying to fit things together and make a story out of them. It also makes it a lot harder to watch bad science fiction movies. That sort of thinking is not just for people in lab coats, though. Science is something you can do. It's more than just memorizing the periodic table or doing calculus in your head. Actually, neither of those are things scientists do. I'm a chemist, and I still can't name all 118 elements without sitting down and cheating a little with Google. My point is you don't need to carry a whole pile of facts in your head to do science. All you need to do is look at evidence and test your assumptions against it. If you need facts, you can look them up. More importantly, you can't be afraid to discard discredited assumptions. If a belief you hold is contradicted by reality, then the belief needs to change because reality won't. I understand that this is hard to do. I've had to do it a few times myself. People say that science doesn't have all the answers, and that's true. Science can't answer every question. Yet. We're working on it. What annoys me is when this is presented as a flaw. Science doesn't have all the answers, so we should ignore scientists. Science is the process of finding out the answers, and that process is not completed yet. It will make mistakes along the way because it's being done by fallible humans. But in the long term, it's far more accurate, and I would say far more satisfying, than just having everything handed to you. If we had all the answers today, what would we do tomorrow? For one thing, it would be a lot harder to get research grants. Science is not some arcane, mystical, incomprehensible thing. It is not the sole preserve of eggheads and poindexters. Science is something you can do, simply by observing things and drawing conclusions based on what you see. So go out there today and do some science. Thank you for watching. I've been Steve.